scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I have made my heart your dwelling place. I have built your throne in my life. Sing, come, Father, come, Son. Come, Father. Come, Son. We worship you. His presence is mighty. We thank you for the gift of your presence. For your mighty, mighty presence. In the midst of your people. Haribiti Harabata. Hey, Come on, lift your hands and worship Him from the depths of your Holy One, help me worship Him. One more time with your hands lifted up and from the depths of your heart. is healing a chest condition right now there is there is a chest condition that the Lord is healing right now I rebuke that sickness I rebuke that devil in the name of the Lord Jesus I rebuke that devil right now right now the Lord is healing a lady of asthma you begin to cough right now asthma asthma is being healed that devil of darkness I cause that spirit right now. The Lord is healing asthma. Asthma. 
asthma is being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing another lady. Your hair falls out of your hair. It's been a very serious thing. Sometimes it looks like you deliberately removed it. This is a demonic attack. The Lord is healing that lady right now. 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 Someone is being healed of a blood condition. I don't know what it is. But the power of God is going to come upon you right now. Right now, that blood condition. I curse that blood condition. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I curse that blood condition. There's someone outside. The Lord is healing you of migraine headache. Severe migraine headache. Severe migraine headache. Especially in the night before you sleep, it begins to affect you. The Lord is healing that migraine headache right now. The Lord is healing that migraine headache right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Ruth. I'm hearing the name Ruth. God is bringing breakthrough to the family of a lady called Ruth. Ruth, Ruth. Because I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And he's saying they are bringing miracles to the family of Ruth. The family of Ruth. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Listen, let me tell you something. This is the kind of ground where everything is possible. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that cometh unto God must believe that he exists and then he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. The rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Please lift up your hands. There are 11 people that I see in the spirit. Lift your hands inside and outside. The power of God is going to come upon 11 people. 11 people that I see and God is breaking afflictions in families 11 people at the count of three the power of God will move inside and outside there are some of you who are outside right now 11 people Lord let your power touch those people right now 11 of them I see in the spirit there's one person i see someone at the outside outside at the overflow the power of god is coming upon that one person no other name like the name of Jesus. There's no other name like the name of the Lord. No other name like the name of Jesus. His word. Worthy of honor. Sing it from the depths of your heart. There's no other name like the name of Jesus. There's no other name like the name. Hallelujah. 
Visit us tonight, O oh God. Do what only you can do. Let your people know that you are in the midst of your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. I welcome everyone tonight. We apologize for those of us outside. I want you to know that no matter how far you are, the Lord will touch you this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have not come to seek an idol. You have come to seek the living God. Hallelujah. One of the things that the Lord has been doing and will keep doing in this place is revealing to us the mysteries of the kingdom. Everyone say the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord declared that this is a year of light and dominion. Dominion that comes through light, not guesswork. Dominion that comes through understanding. Psalm 82 from verse 5 says, They know not, neither will they understand. And so they grow in darkness and the earth is out of course. He said, but have I not said ye are gods? Are you following me now? And all of you are children of the most high. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. The advantage you have in the kingdom, listen to me. The advantage you have in the kingdom it's not just that you have declared the lordship of Christ over your life, but you have come to a point where you have spiritual understanding. You understand how this system functions. And then the things that used to be a mystery are no longer a mystery to you because you know that there is an operation that governs them. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, what you know in the kingdom stays with you. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? When you know it, he said they are life to those who find them. That means they sought for it. They are life to do, not to everybody. They are not life to every Christian. They are life to those who find them. so as God opens our eyes to see these things in the spirit, we must we must be passionate about making them part of our lives. The question is how many of us are really willing to apply the things we are hearing? It's, it's, you see, the, 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 the issue with the body of Christ may not necessarily be lack of revelation but our inability to take the word of God and make it become part of our life in truth. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice of praise. Feel this damn with your spirit Ephesians chapter 3 <sighs> Thank you Lord Jesus Again we welcome those of us who have come from far May the Lord bless you Your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus Verse 9. Ephesians chapter 3. From verse 9. By the way, let me, let me appreciate as many of us who were able to embark on the fast. I know that some of us didn't fast. Praise the Lord. 
but for as many of us who opened up ourselves, the Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Men can be mocked, but God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, he will reap. Hallelujah. Whatsoever a man sows, that man will reap. We are sowing to the spirit and we understand that there is a reward. Say there is a reward. Say it one more time, there is a reward. Brothers and sisters, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are certain things that are rewards. If everything in the kingdom is a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Hallelujah. It says, there remained a rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there is still remained a rest. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. For he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works. Hallelujah. So I want to really salute every one of us. I know for many of us, doing a dry fast like that may not be very, your body, because you are living in the body, may not be easy. But you see, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Hallelujah. It doesn't kill. Don't let any man fool you. It does not kill. It does something to you in the spirit that until you are spiritually minded, you may never understand. You see, I keep saying it. If I ask this sister to stand, stand where you are, without telling her the reason why she should stand, huh? and the benefit, whatever she will gain for standing, she will be wary. Are you getting my point? And there's every tendency that she will compromise. But if I tell her, stand here, because somebody is about to pass, let him locate you and bless you. Even when she's tired, there is a higher revelation that is beyond the pain of her body. And it keeps her. This is the revelation that makes men spiritual. So although your body is weak, Paul says, so then, death works in us. That life may work in you. Physically speaking, your body is weak. You see everything and you want to take it. Even if it is, even if it is Vicks Lemon Plus or what. You just want to take anything that can help you. The clearest proof of obedience is when you have the opportunity to disobey. That's when your obedience is perfected. If I rob you of an opportunity to obey, and I don't give you an option. You are not really obedient. That's why there was another tree in the garden of Eden. So that the will of man could freely choose. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you. May God bless us. We will reap the benefit for sure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me also use this opportunity to salute all of the workers. I was just thinking about the workforce we have in this ministry believe me you may not understand the enormous responsibility that working in this ministry entails you must love God to be a faithful worker they are bounded by love and um, I can only imagine trying to do all of the things they are doing while praying and fasting complete dry fast the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. My Bible tells me that God is no man's debtor. He will reward you your labor of love. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Out of the ashes of my dying today I see the breaking of a brand new day in which the name of the Lord alone is glorified. I see the breaking of a brand new day. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3. That's where we are. Verse 9. It's projected so we can just look to save time. And to make all men see what is the what? Of what? It says the fellowship of the mystery. To make men see what is the fellowship. The resultant effect of our partaking in the knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom. Which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. Verse 10. To the intent. That means this is why he is now revealing to us the mystery. That now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the multifaceted wisdom of God. That means that the wisdom of God is shrouded in mysteries. And every time God wants to display new dimensions of himself, he opens people, he grants them access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. I give all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Brothers and sisters, we reign in this kingdom on the strength of our knowledge of the mysteries. Hallelujah. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is not about claiming, I take it. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of the spiritual understanding of this system. The laws that have been put in operation. Hallelujah. And how to be able to work with these laws. To ensure that the kingdom of God comes across a territory. So dominion has nothing to do with just trying to claim. It's not about jacking yourself and trying to believe. When Jesus walked upon the earth. Every time he looked at things. He interpreted them on the strength of his knowledge about the mysteries of the kingdom. When he saw the winds and the waves. He didn't join the other people to say I think we are in rainy season. He looked well and he said no this is demonic. Are you getting what I am saying now? All through the Bible. All those who were able to, by reason of some spiritual means, have access to the mysteries of the kingdom. They were the ones who reigned in their generation. Isaac understood something about spiritual laws. And when men were running away for famine, he sowed in that land. And he reaped a hundredfold. Hallelujah. The Bible says the Philistines envied him. He increased, he worked strong, he made progress. Moses had an encounter and there was something that Moses knew. He knew that his rod was the rod of God and that that rod could do mighty things. Brothers and sisters, those who will be featured in this end time move of God are not just men who say, God use me. They are men who will have to understand the ancient keys 
that kept the heavens and the earth closed and that opened them at will. If you do not understand this key, you will die like a man. The world is becoming spiritual every day. I hope you realize. It used to be physical when giants and great men will threaten others. Then it now became intellectual. Hallelujah. So your dominion is on the strength of your knowledge of intellect and, and having knowledge of your biological environment and so on and so forth. But before Christ comes, it is they that know their God. They that know is the same word know like a man knowing a woman. They that have come into practical intimacy that has proofs they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. I don't want to live my life guessing, hoping I'm right. Hoping that the laws of the spirit that are being operated are the correct ones. Only to find out that it's not like that. The Bible says, awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you light. He said, walk circumspectly. As wise, not as unwise. In the days that will come, hear me. Those that do not understand the mysteries of the kingdom will die like men. Mm. But they looked at Paul and Barnabas and they said, the gods have come to us. They called them the Greek gods, Zeus and Hermes. Because... Okay. Oh my God. Look at the Bible says how that um, Peter now, right? A snake beat his hand, a viper. And he just shook it. And they said, this is not an ordinary human being. Imagine, imagine if all Moses had to bring the people out of Egypt was a desire to stop seeing people suffering. You know he would have died right there. Right there in the palace. That's what a lot of people are carrying. They have zeal. Lord, I want to save my family with zeal. Zeal without knowledge will end you in disaster. Because you will enter territories where you do not understand the codes of operation. And your zeal will frustrate you. It will make it look like Jesus did not die. There are many people who have sustained casualties. Some people went to their villages out of zeal. And they set altars on fire. They set shrines on fire. Before it finished burning, half of them were para was paralyzed from top to bottom. Like the temple, the curtain that tore when Jesus died. Half of them from top to bottom. Left hand side or right hand side. What do you know that sponsors your audacity to confront evil? What secret have you found? Those of us in ministry, what have you found that assures you that ministry will last? Hmm. He says, I found your word and I did eat them. And it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. What have you found? What have you found that gives you confidence in this wicked society that we live in? What have you found, brothers and sisters? In Luke chapter 4, reading from verse 15 downwards, the Bible says Jesus found, he found it where it was written about him. The prophecy of Isaiah. And he said, this day is this scripture fulfilled. What have you found? That gives you a guarantee that you will be married. By now you know being beautiful is not enough. What have you found? What is your spiritual advantage? When all else fail, what do you stand on? Job. Is one man I have come to respect and love. When you study the book of Job, ayah, this was a man who had 
all kinds of catastrophe in his life. Do you know what it means for a man to be the richest man in the East? The East has always been associated with wealth. Right? Wise men came from the East. Job was such a, he said, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord were upon my tabernacle, the young men saw me and bowed their heads. The old men saw me and they stood up. What kind of influence did Job command? And then all of a sudden, in one day, everyone say one day. Say it one day. It was not one prophetic day. It was one literal day. They came to Job and said, Job, your children, they are all dead. Your cattle, your house, everything. And all that Job was left with was his wife and his health. When everything disappeared, Job checked around, what mystery do I know that can help me now? And Job said, he blessed the name of the Lord and said, naked I came and naked I will return. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How can a man speak like that? Do you not know that there must be something you know that makes you to give thanks like that? Your children, your cattle, everything. Job did not know that there is a possibility of knowing what can happen in the spirit. I hope you know that the meeting that happened in the spirit was an advantage that was given to us by the person who wrote that book. Those in the earth realm did not know that something transpired like that. Little did they know that the sons of God came and Satan was part of them. And he said, Satan, where are you coming from? That means Satan does not stay in one place. And that means Satan is not omnipresent. Are you seeing that now? And Satan said, from my voyage around this territory. And he said, while you went around to families and territories, did you come across a man called Job? Satan said, I know him. I've seen him. I've seen him. I destroyed other families, jeopardized other people. But when I came to Job, I saw a level of fortification that frustrated me. Come on now. This is a conversation happening in the heavenlies. Whereas Job was minding his business here in the earth realm. Imagine what is being said about you in the spirit. And you are here just walking around. Naive. And you become a victim of the result of meetings where you did not participate in. I refuse it. I refuse it. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. Men discuss things in the spirit and humans in the earth realm receive the result of the meetings. And someone gets up in the morning and returns back with one leg. That is the result of a meeting that was carried out. You were not there but you were the victim of it. Don't let anyone fool you. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Someone gets up in the morning Blesses the name of the Lord. Dresses well and you carry your, your fire to the office. Only to return in the evening with a sack letter. Can I tell you something? When you understand the mysteries of the kingdom, you will know that nothing just happens in the earth realm. Jesus gave us a picture. He said, let it be done in the earth as it is. That means the earth is always a reflection of something that happens already in the heavens. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you learning something? My passion is to help you see from a spiritual lens. To give you a new vista so that you do not join men. You don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. You can step home on the strength of a higher spiritual advantage. And you know what law to engage. This is what makes you more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. That means if Job had cursed God, he would have activated a law that would have killed him. Are you getting that? 
Because his wife gave us a revelation. She knew that that law existed. She said, Job, I'm your wife, but I'm tired. Do you want to die fast? Curse God. This is another revelation on its own. I don't know how you read your Bible, but I have positioned myself to see light in everything in the world. I don't read my Bible to have sermons or to crime scriptures. They are life to me. There are certain things that have intrigued me about the book of Job. One of it is the ability, hear me, the ability to invoke God and then God comes down. How did Job do it? Did he use a magic formula? Is it not in your Bible? Job summoned God and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords showed up. Right now, we use all kinds of instruments and waste time for days. We say, we are trying, let's call down the presence of God. Job, a man in his pain said, Lord, I demand a meeting with you. Brothers and sisters, what you know can make you look like a God upon the surface of the earth. Who is God speaking to tonight? It's time to rise up. There is a new status. There is, there, is, there is an enlargement in the spirit. God wants to give you capacity to reign experientially. Oh, I sense the presence of God. Strong and mighty in this place. And Job refused. And then another meeting was held in heaven. And Satan said, I, I have an explanation as to why Job didn't curse you. Because he's still healthy. He said, every man can give thanks. It's not unusual. That means as I went around the earth, I saw those I afflicted, but I left their help and they still gave thanks. He said, touch his body. God said, really? All right. Go ahead and touch his body. A man was minding his business. And a baller came out. Are you seeing that those boils? Hold on. Those boils, where did they come from? They were direct. It was based on an instruction. Like a text message you send and it will go to the person you sent it to. Job just found out that boils and blisters were coming out of his body. And his wife said, this is it. I've tried for you. We have, after all, we've had plenty of children. So if it's faithfulness, I have proven that I'm faithful. It's time to go curse God and die. She wasn't sick. She did not know that it was not because she was standing strong, but she was not part of the meeting. The, the discussion was not about her. There are so many people who have not received any attack from darkness. They think it's because their spiritual life is strong. The day your file is open, you will see how weak you are. They laugh at others. Hold on. I'm very serious tonight. They are lazy. They don't pray. They don't fast. They say, I'm not praying. I'm not fasting. I'm not doing anything. But the devil would dare not touch me. Hold on. In the book of Job, there was a discussion. Nothing happened to the wife of Job. She didn't become barren. She, she was standing close to a man with a disease that could contact her, but nothing happened. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? And then... When Job's body was sore, dogs came to lick his body. The Bible tells us that there were certain people that came from different territories of greatness. And they sat down for seven days. They were using the wisdom that made them great to analyze what, what law would have been violated to make God judge a man like that. And for seven days they were brainstorming. After seven days they looked and said, Kai, Job, you sinned. We, we have checked everything. You sinned. Job said, don't talk like that about me. God will curse you. Better keep, if you don't know what to say, and Elihu reserved himself. Elihu was still checking. He said, ah, ah, the law of creation, the mystery of longevity, what law did Job break? This way, other people were just moving around. Ah, Job, sorry. But others said, no, let's check these laws. See, Brothers and sisters, there is light that makes you different. 
Other people looked at the heavens and said, why is today bright? The wise men said, no way. Something is happening in the earth realm. Something is happening somewhere. And they started tracing it. Other people were saying, please, so let's dry the clothes very fast. Whereas salvation had come. In Herod's palace, the spirit of the Antichrist communicated quickly. He said, another king has been born. Herod, do something about it quickly. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters, there are mysteries. When Jezebel, I told you that Jezebel is a system, isn't it? That's the she goddess, the system, the Antichrist system. Jezebel was married to Ahab. The spirit came into her. Why? Because Ahab represented governance. And she knew it was a mountain that held relevance. So she occupied there and she was practically the one ruling. Are you getting my point? And Jezebel swore when she heard that they destroyed the prophets of Baal. She said, Elijah, I must remove your head. Elijah went up to heaven. Now the spirit of Elijah came in John the Baptist. Jezebel re-entered Herodias again. Are you seeing? And that head of John the Baptist, she's got it. That was why when they birthday down, she said, no, there is a score. He knows. <laughs> there is such ignorance in the earth, man. We walk around. It's not our fault. It's the fault of all of the pastors, apostles, prophets, all of us that claim that we are men of God because we are stewards, the Bible tells us, of the mysteries of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Open my eyes, oh God. Open my eyes. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. When God calls you, can you have it amplified? Is it possible? Yes. Please, if you are in ministry, don't be in a hurry to rush or go on air. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are in a hurry. I want to go for a radio program and say what? Make sure you have something to say. He says, so then, let us apostles... Be looked upon as ministering servants of Christ. And what? Trustees of the mysteries, the secret purposes of God. That means when God calls you, your call tilts you in a position in the spirit where you have an advantage of access to the mysteries of the kingdom. And if God blesses you with a congregation and you are wasting their time, telling them a lot of junk and jargons, the Bible says you are not a steward. And I refuse to allow you to be ignorant. You will be empowered with light. So when men are running like the nation of Israel, away from Goliath, you will run to Goliath like David. David knew something bigger than a little stone. David knew something. He had, he understood something. There is something you must know that can make you bold. That a man will look at you and say, do you know I can sack you from this walk? <laughs> You don't just do this foolish Pentecostal laugh. We laugh and they still sack you. You are laughing without revelation. We do stupid things in the body of Christ. Ah, God forbid you will not sack me. The next day, you are collecting the letter and you are going out. And you come and meet the pastor that taught you whatever he taught you. And he says, what happened? You mean they sacked you? It's an embarrassment to redemption. Well, it has happened. But Elijah was a man of like passion like us. The Bible says, and he prayed earnestly that there may not be rain. How can one man didn't consult with the geographers, didn't consult with anybody, did not even use a public address system. He just said, on the strength of what I know, I understand that this territory has been given unto me as an ambassador. And I speak higher. This will come when men will speak. We will speak when we have something to say. Not just to make noise. Men will come. Look, let me tell you something.
times will come when the church will determine the events in Africa and determine the, the events across this nation. It's not to get money from politicians. Because you see, the Shunammite woman was a very wealthy woman. And when the prophet came, he said, what should I do to you? He said, should I talk to the governor? That means Elisha was not a small man. He could summon the governor. Say, you know what happened for you to sit down there. Are you ready to listen or you are ready to follow those who were disobedient just like you? Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when our own obedience is complete. Hallelujah. One of our, one of our workers was sharing with me this afternoon a very touching testimony. He went on IT. He's still on IT. Brothers and sisters, as an IT student, first and foremost, there were two places that were paying him some very interesting amounts. When he told me, I was very surprised. That's the first miracle. Second miracle is that when he went there, the owner of the company where he was, he was doing his IT said he wanted his son to be the manager of the place and since the son is not available he should come and be managing the place you want a job the question is what do you know how do men get jobs what have you been taught that brings a job application submit your CV wait is that true could it be that what you know is not the truth? That a thing has existed for a long time does not mean it is the truth. Listen, we need to begin to probe the foundation, the things that make up our ideologies. Start asking questions. Don't just absorb anything like that. Start asking questions. Why must that growth disappear and appear? It is in your body, but it is not within your control. It's violating a law. Already, it tells you that is demonic. How can some, because everything in your body should grow at the same rate. Now, this growth is not growing at the same rate. So, which life is sponsoring it? You did biology. Something else must be sponsoring that supernatural growth. It took you 20 years to look the way you are. It takes three days for a boil to come out like that. But when you are not interested in probing it, and it does not cause you to go to the secret place and say, Lord, what mean at these things? I'm tired of allowing things to just pass. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something? I refuse to live my life based on guesswork. It's a terrible way to live. Brothers and sisters, I have a question for you. What is the guarantee that you are going to celebrate Christmas this year? Look at me. What is the guarantee? Is there, is there a spiritual principle that can give you some kind of assurance? Or do we just walk and whatever will be, will be? I know this is challenging and I don't mean to hurt anyone, maybe of the demise of your loved ones, but I'm, I'm encouraging you. What is the guarantee that you're not going to celebrate? See, let me tell you. Many of us have not confronted these issues. We've, we've forgotten about it and we've run away. When you run away from a thing, you have not defeated it. When you stand and face it and triumph over it. Hallelujah. Man of God, what gives you assurance that your ministry will keep growing from glory to glory? See, people have been saying they like me. Hey, people, you, you better, you better find an authentic revelation because one moment they said crucify him I mean they said he gave us bread we will force him to be king the next moment they said crucify him can my life be so in order 
Huh? When you pray for the sick, what gives you guarantee that they will be healed? Your pastor told you, lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. You saw him lay hands and they were healed. You say, me too, I will do it. Is that it? Or hands were laid on me and they say you will now have the healing anointing. Is that it? I'm probing our convictions. And you will find out that many of us are not standing on the rock. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. What happens to you? When they suddenly look at you and listen, some of us come from territories where witchcraft is very open. What happens when you go maybe to your village or somewhere, for God's sake, please listen to me. And somebody looks at you and says, Pastor Femi, you will not get married. This is an agreement we have had. What do you do? And I say, I will show them. Mm -mm. Let's not be childish this night. What will you do? What revelation, what key will be ignited? If someone, if I meet you now, Jimmy, and I say, you are 10 koinonia, you say, yes, I even heard you sing. And I say, sorry, I've been going to a native doctor all my life. Please, here's the charm he gave me. Help me and break it. Take. What are you going to tell him? Book for counseling. Don't just laugh. I hope you get what I'm telling you. We are the light of the world. We are a city that is set on a hill. Break, help me, destroy this charm. I'm tired of it. And you hear that the last person who really held it died. That's when everybody says, you know, the way this world, this wisdom is profitable to direct. All these kinds of scriptures that emerge out of fear. All right, look up. What gives you confidence? Huh? That they are not plotting an evil plot to kill you this night. Is it impossible? I'm, see, I'm not making you afraid. I'm teaching you how to be victorious. Many of us think by running away from this. Say, don't think about these things. I refuse to think about I know that the Bible says set your mind on things above. But Jesus is, he, is it not your Bible where death is said, Oh, death, I'm talking to you. Where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? If you cannot confront, see, eternal life is not life after death. Eternal life is authority and victory over death. There are many things we cannot confront in the body of Christ. As I'm talking now, some of you are saying, please, so allow me to get home safely first before you say all of this. What revelation did Jesus have that made him sleep when the boat was physically almost capsizing? How do you know whether your roommate has Ebola or not? Is it not till doctors say the person has it? How do you know? How do you know? Maybe since last year you have been passing those who had it. Look at this. A madman eats from the trash can. They teach us that it is not healthy. Abi, answer me. Is it not true? You spend how many years studying that reality? They thought if you eat, there are all kinds of microorganisms. A madman comes to sit and turns the dustbin upside down. And he helps himself all through that night and gets up, cleans his body and moves. Why cold? You are in your room. You are lying down. And the cold, you have to add jacket and blanket. The madman is talking to himself and just strolling on barefoot. Rain is just beating him and he's looking up and laughing. And you're saying, oh boy, this poor man. And the man is laughing back at you. Correct? And after three months, that guy is still healthy and strong. 
They say that there's crisis everywhere. They are running. The guy is moving around and talking nonsense. And the crisis will finish. The guy is still moving around. Question, who is really mad? This guy, because there is no hope of getting sick. There's no hope of even treating him. You will see him enjoy himself. He will leave the wound there. Flies disturbing it. He will leave it there. The wound will heal by itself. No, no nothing. Could it be that there is something we have learned that has given the devil advantage over us? Could it be that there is something we have been taught that if we did not know it, we would not be this fearful. Technology has increased our fear because it has opened us to the possibilities that exist in this realm. You watch a movie and all of a sudden you just realize that cabbage can kill. You never knew. You ate cabbage, you stole it, you went to people's farm, you looted their products, nothing happened. Now you watch the movie where cabbage killed somebody and you said, this is it. This is it. Hear me, don't just laugh. I'm, I'm probing our convictions. It's time to ask questions. Not to be a rebel, but to ask questions. Everybody marries at 35. I mean, too, I grew up and I saw it like that. I, wouldn't you ask questions? I say, no problem, I'm 22. People served in church, they married at 37. You have not asked questions why they still serve and that happened. Could it be that your generation or your lineage is crying for a savior and saying lord will you not raise somebody and god says you come for koinonia there is something you must know that will equip you you need to stamp it at the devil somewhere oh the beauty of light all of a sudden you step home and you tell them i brought good news you see why the gospel is called good news what have we been giving people bad news all sorts of bad news. That means what we are preaching is not the gospel. Hallelujah. And you step home and you look at a lady who has not been married and you tell her, I'm not only going to pray for you, I will tell you what is wrong. It's not about you are a prophet. It's spiritual intelligence has made you prophetic. Hallelujah. Knowledge opens up the prophetic dimension in everyone. And so you look and you say, sister, there are certain truths you need to know. And when you know, you will walk out of this. And you begin to share those truths. And as you share, you will see the power of God. Last week, I think there was a gentleman that they brought. They had been, the one I announced, they had been on my case with that guy. I heard the guy was on a bike, minding his business. I don't know which corner he entered. One demon just fell on his head. The guy started speaking nonsense at once. No negotiation. It's amazing how the devil does not consult with us to try to afflict us. And this gentleman, the family members were confused and all of that. And I said, come for Koinonia. And after the meeting, I didn't even know because I kept announcing, you know, we we're about going and they, they brought the guy. I said, sit down there. When I saw him, I said, my friend, you are going to be delivered now. I was not asking him a question. I was not trying to say, do you have faith? Is your faith working? What size? Is it weak faith or strong faith? All I know is that that demon is living. Period. Period. When you truly have money to give somebody and he asks you for money, you will say, can your hand stretch well or small? Are you ready to take? Take. When you start giving excuses and say, hey, there's, I'm expecting, you know, there's one, this is my uncle, the way this Nigeria is. All those long stories are they are trying to point to one thing. There's no money in your pocket. It's as simple as that. This is how it is spiritually. When we begin to give a lot of excuses and stories, it's a sign that we have not held on to something solid. Oh, that God will make you a savior. This is what this is all about. Brothers and sisters, that God will make you a savior. Forget about the challenges today. Are you getting my point? Don't feel bad. Forget about it. But you tell yourself, I have paid this price once and for all. I said something last week and let me say it again. There has been this new discovery that has been stopping a lot of weddings, right? SS. 
and AS. Are you aware of that? Lover boy, are you aware? Are you aware that this can jeopardize your destiny? That is not just enough to be in love. Are you aware of the implications, the questions you will be asked? I was told a very pathetic story of one guy who honestly had been seeing a sister. This guy had prayed. He was so convicted. He was so happy. And they went out on their first date. He was so happy. And then the lady told him, I think whether I'm SS or something, and said, this is the reality. And the guy said, whether he was AS or this. You see, it's a little issue. But now I have your attention. Because there are many of us that are probably asking this question, is this how my life will be? But there is a way out. If you don't believe there is a way out, we don't deserve to call God, God. There is a way out. Oh, there is a way out. We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more, got to be more. The scripture I just read says that we have been called into the fellowship of these mysteries. That means the scrolls have been unlocked. Access has been given to us. Go and find out what it takes to reign. Listen, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is making it, knowing how to make it work in your life. That's revelation. It's not just what God has said. It's knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing how to make it work in your life. Imagine that with the revelation you have now, after this meeting, you will run. Run to a clinic where you know that somebody that you have been praying and trusting God for, huh? who has been praying and said, well, this is God that brought this thing. And you just tell him, no, I've discovered something new. And I have come to prove it to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Arise from this hospital. And all of a sudden. Joshua Selman was not there. Your HOD was not there. But the God you serve was there. And you will watch that person get up. And your name is brother. So, so, so and so. And all of a sudden you, you go back. See there is a joy. When the word works for you. Not that it is made to work for you. When you provoke it. And you come with a testimony. You know that the word of God is alive. When you pray for someone. And the person says. Do you know. I didn't even tell you the gravity of what I was suffering. It's like. Look at the gentleman who was speaking. This is a growth. A growth is not something you lie about. For those of you who don't believe in miracles. How do you fake a growth? You can fake like many of you think we men of God around do, you can fake that, okay, genotype changed. But do you fake a baby? How do you fake that a woman was barren and now is holding a baby? How do you fake that somebody could not walk and is now standing? There are mysteries. Everyone said there are mysteries. And I'm planting a hunger in every one of us to begin to explore the mysteries of the kingdom. Oh, there are mysteries. When it was time to judge the prophets of Baal, Elijah said, let us go to a mountain. He, he said, no, 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 no. There is a mystery we must invoke. Let's go to a mountain. And Baal said, I know what you are going. I know where you are going. I will meet you there. Other people were saying, why are they going? The ignorant ones always remain in the valley. Those who have knowledge climb the mountain. When they got there, he said, this is how we do it. You invoke Baal and I'll give you enough time. Brothers and sisters, they started calling on Baal. The Bible says they started cutting themselves. What did they understand about sacrifice and the presence of a God? They were cutting themselves to, to produce blood. They wanted blood to come out because they knew that blood is a language. It's a magnet in the spirit. 
they look at how they were walking a lot of spiritual laws and Elijah was laughing he said I know what you are trying to do I'm sure Baal is sleeping if you were the one will you be laughing or you'll be praying I say Lord let this thing not happen the same way it's happening I'm, I'm, don't disgrace me here on the strength of spiritual knowledge a man was laughing at the devil when it was time he said uh -uh, there is a protocol to spiritual things we don't do things foolishly let me have 12 altars ah the spirit of god said a man of intelligence somebody would have just said let me now show you oh god and you we do all kinds of things and the devil said this is it he said let me have 12 altars and when there were 12 altars he set up everything ah he said so that you don't think that we manufactured fire pour water the foolish people were pouring water they did not know that there is a mystery of the spirit the water and the blood the bible says when it comes to the earth these three entities can open any door it says there are three that bear witness in heaven the spirit the word and what the father the spirit and the word but it says when it comes to the earth there are three elements their coexistence will open any door he says the spirit, the water, and the blood. And Elijah said, pour water. They were foolishly pouring water. When they finished, he said, oh God. And see the fire that came? The Bible says the fire came and licked up everything. Elijah said, chase them. Kill every single one of them. When he killed them, Jezebel had it. What law was operated? What law? Who is this guy? And suddenly she realized that Elijah was not a normal human being. And Elijah said, I'm done. I came to judge this she goddess called Jezebel because her prophets prospered and the prophets of God were in hiding. But one man was bold. Although there were many prophets, they couldn't come out. They were hiding. Elijah was taking fresh air. They came to disrupt him. He said, fire. Next, fire. The third people said, we, we are begging you. It's not like we are forcing you. We are begging you. We left our wives at home. We are begging you. Everybody say mysteries. Say mysteries. The occultic realm and witchcraft manipulate people through mysteries. Are you getting my point now? They use spells. They use enchantments. They don't need to see you. They make pronouncements. And when they make those pronouncements, when it comes, if there is darkness in you, it will prevail. Because they are called rulers of darkness. That means their, their dominion is activated when there is darkness. They are called rulers of darkness. But when they come and they see light, see, all this, I am uncursable, I am unkillable. You better understand the mysteries of the kingdom that activates those realities in your life. Because although you have been claiming and jumping, look at your life. It's already happening. I'm not scaring you. I'm telling you that there is more than what we have been taught. And brothers and sisters, if you do not open your eyes to see, you may not reign in There are many churches. There are many pastors struggling. I want crowd. I want this. I want that. And they do not know that there are mysteries in the kingdom. The Bible says, listen. It says, if I be lifted up. Have you read that scripture? Huh? MOG, let me give you a little clue. If I be lifted up. When a man of God keeps lifting himself, get ready for empty pews. He says, if I be lifted up, I will what? Draw all men unto myself. Not unto a man of God. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men. When you keep drawing men to yourself, you will find out that there is very little you can give them. But when you draw men, when, when, when you reflect Christ, you stand as an ambassador, God himself. The Bible says, and God added daily to them as many as should be saved. Paul can plant 
Apollos can water but increases exclusively of God. Hallelujah. Tell me what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me what can I do? I can live without you. Listen, do you know that your family is under bondage because there is a mystery that has not been unlocked? Listen, listen, listen. There are mysteries are like spiritual codes of operations. I've shared it again during our series on mysteries of the kingdom. But I'll say it, mysteries are like codes of operation. Look at me. If you have a drug, right? Just give me a viral cover or anything that I can use. If this is a drug, please look at me. Pharmacist, I'm not a pharmacist, so forgive me. Whether what I'm saying is right or wrong, let's just accept it. Are you getting my point now? In the making of this drug, certain things have been programmed. This drug is like a machine. Is that true? You don't look at it and say, Panadol, don't by any means go to my leg. I'm okay there. The trouble is by this side of my head. Better find a way of positioning yourself and sub what is there. No. No. You pick it up, carry water, close your eyes, throw it in your mouth and take water. You smile. You go back. The Panadol has been programmed to look for what is wrong. Because even you, you don't know what is wrong. You, are, you only know what you feel is wrong. Is that true? So when you go to a doctor, he looks at you and he says, Doctor, I, I don't know what is my eyes. He says, it's not eyes. He says, I'm, I'm the one going through it. I'm telling you, he says, it's not your eyes. Just keep quiet. Take this, take that. And after two days, you come and say, ah, ah. Doctor, I've been, I started giving myself medication for the past one week. The eyes, the pain has even increased. Say, who asked you? It was not eye problem. It's the symptom of something else. Listen, mysteries are like spiritual programs. When they come into your territory, it's like an atomic bomb. They open up and they begin, those codes start writing themselves upon your family. So there could be mysteries that invoke barrenness. Listen to me. There could be mysteries that invoke academic failure. There could be mysteries that invoke late marriage. These mysteries ascend through whatever spiritual means. Dreams, enchantments, it says, in six things shall he deliver you. Yea, seven things. It says, you shall be delivered from the scourging tongues of men. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So this code lands like an alien. And it begins to type out in your family that which it was programmed to do. Because mysteries work like the word of God. It's a mimicking. I told you that Satan was called what? Lucifer, the light bearer. He was the one who kept the revelations of the spirit. No word returns to the sender until it accomplishes what it was returned. If for any reason it returns to the sender, a higher word sent it away. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it says, so shall my word be that proceeded forth from my mouth. It shall not return. Hallelujah. It's like an SS1 student who tells a junior student, go and fetch water. And an SS3 student says, go and sleep. Who will he obey? If the SS1 student says, I sent you, he says, mm -mm, no, please. My school father said I should go and sleep. I'm going to have my siesta. The SS1 student is now, he has joined two of them. Is that true? The integrity of the SS3 student and the SS1 student is what will be. And he says, I will punish you in front of this one to let you know I'm your senior. Or you kneel down. You go and fetch the water and give the junior student and he will use. That's a way of humiliating him to establish his seniority. Hallelujah. Mysteries. Everyone say mysteries. There are many well-meaning Christians, hear me, who are victims of the unlocking of mysteries. Someone comes and matches a charm. Brothers and sisters, this person is returning maybe from church with your Bible, from choir practice. 
Huh? You didn't see anything on, on the ground that shows that there is a charm. But you stepped on it. The charm has been programmed. He said, anybody's leg that steps on you is the person who is there. And you step on it without light. And all of a sudden, you are minding your business and you see another law walking in your members. What is going on? Suddenly your leg, you can't tell again. Ha! The last time I checked, my leg was fine. What is going on? You get up the next day times two, the size. Next day times three. And they go to the hospital and they say, Kai, there's nothing. Doctors now already know. They are tired of the devil. Thank God for what God is doing in hospitals. Many doctors now, when they look at your case, they say, look, I'm advising you. If you know a man of God that is anointed, find him quickly. Because where you are lying down here, three people came, same condition. Thank God for doctors that are spirit-filled. Hallelujah. There are families like that. Brothers and sisters, I'm not the kind of person that sees demons in everything. There are principles. We're intelligent people. But I will deceive you if I tell you evil is not real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I would have, I would have jeopardized the integrity of my calling. This is why many of us go through all kinds of cycles of a lot of things. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When you find yourself in trouble, if you find yourself in a hole, you can't bring yourself out. It says, they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. That was the light that came to them. And then he said, arise and shine for your light. Not because you can sit down there forever. But it says when your light comes, then you will arise. Tonight, someone's, how many minutes do we have? I'll minister for a few more minutes and then we'll, I'll take time and we'll minister to the sick. Is that, is that all right? I know that there are people who are trusting God for healings. I'm not the kind of man of God that will say, now, after hearing this message, I hope that as you go back home, do something about it. No, no. Something must be done now. I'm not teaching you to start insulting people and just laugh and say, this man is not powerful because we are all laboring to enter that rest in reality. Listen, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, hear me please. The death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ gives us access our operating these kingdom principles bring us, it is us taking advantage. Hear me? When you walk in these principles, you are not trying to do something else outside of what Christ has done. It is your partnership with him. You're taking advantage of the access to make it real in your life. Are you getting my point now? Because that's where I understand that there can be confusion. A lot of us have believed that, okay, Jesus have done it. I believe it and I've said so. But I'm not seeing anything in my life. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, it says, If thou sh it shall come to pass in that day, thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day, that these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you. Listen. The Bible tells us again and again that we do not yet see all things under his feet. Please get this. Our walking the word of God is not trying to add to what Christ has done. Our walking the word of God is our response of obedience. Are you getting my point now? It is our proof of faith to make alive that truth. There are laws in the kingdom that were there before the fall of man. I hope you know. Job, I want to conserve time, but let me show you something interesting. Let's go to the book of Job. Hallelujah. 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 
Job 38 Behold I show you a mystery This that I'm about to read Happened way Hear me It happened way Before Genesis 1 Job 38 okay. Job Through whatever spiritual mystery I really do not know but he invoked the presence of God. Then the Lord answered Job out of what? A whirlwind. You see that it was the same whirlwind with the chariots of fire that came and carried Elijah. And said, verse 2, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Who is this that is talking? Job, you are making a lot of noise. I've been listening to you from heaven. You've been saying so many things. You are ranting. Job, I want to speak to you now. Verse 3. Guard up your loins like a man, for I will demand of thee. I want to talk to you using my knowledge as God, and I want you to answer me if you think you have knowledge of that much mystery. Verse 4. Where was thou when I laid the word? That's question 1. So God tells us the earth has foundation. Geography tells us it's revolving in space. God said, uh-uh. There is a spiritual mystery. A day, this earth is like a building. What kind of eyes will you see that will turn a God shape into a building? Declare if thou hast understanding. Verse 5. Who laid the measures? That means there was an architect. It was an intentional thing. The earth was measured. It has dimensions. Or who had stretched the line, like the plumb line you use upon it. Verse 6. Whereupon are the foundations fastened, like a tent? Or who laid the cornerstone? Verse 7. This God is telling Job that were you there when the morning stars sang together, the day the earth's foundation was laid, there was a thanksgiving and foundation laying ceremony way before your arrival. This is what happened in the heavens. The morning stars sang together and all the what? I've said, I've said it again and again. Sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there since. Sons of God is not a name. It's an office. Who shot the sea with doors? Brothers and sisters, that means the seas you see, they have spiritual doors. So when we see flooding, we know that a law was activated that opened those doors in the spirit. This is what God is telling us. Hallelujah. There's no such thing as just flooding anyhow. There are people by acts of divination, they have inquired in the archives of spiritual things. When it break forth, as if it issued out of the womb. Verse 9. When I made the cloud a garment and thick darkness a swaddling blood for it. Verse 10. And break up for my decreed place and set bars and doors. God made a decree and said, Cease, make sure you remain here. And said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further. And here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Let's stop there. I just wanted to show you. When did this happen? And what? when this thing happened, Job kept quiet. Job said, wow. Wow. You see why the people worship God? Because heaven is a place of perpetual revelation. God surrounds himself with mysteries. So, the mystery you saw before you bow down, when you stand up, is not what you will see again. It's like these lights. The way these lights change, that's how the mysteries around God, they are so many, they keep changing. And so in the book of Ezekiel, we see men saying, holy, 
in Revelation, they are still saying holy. They've not stopped. They are saying holy is not that that's their work. They pay them salary for it. No. It is a response. They are not even aware that that long a time had come and gone. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There are mysteries in this kingdom. Say it. There are mysteries. In many parts of this nation, every time they kill men, the people in those territories become richer. What do they know about blood and money? A man of God wrote a powerful book, Blood Money. Let me tell you the truth. Every money is blood money. Every. Whether blood of Jesus or blood of whatever, every money is blood money. Are you learning something? I'm not just teaching you this so that you will have theological knowledge and say, wow, I have something. But it is to sponsor your hunger for spiritual things. So that when men look at you and say, Ah, ah Pastor Femi, you are already healing the sick. What are you looking for? You say, what am I looking for? Paul said that I may know him. When Paul, at the apex of his ministry, saw that there was so little he knew, he said that I may know him. That I may know him. In five minutes, I will show you something that the fasting tonight has done for you because it's a mystery. Fasting is a mystery in the spirit that has not been taught because of the effect it has. We have not been taught that it is part of our spiritual growth process. I want to see you. Isaiah 58. I want to hear your voice. I want to know you more. Isaiah 58. I want to know you more. Silaba Kuradu Shilabari. I want to know you. I want to know Verse 6 Verse 6 Isaiah 58 verse 6 Is not this the fast that I have chosen? That means not every fast carries weight in the spirit there are some fastings that are religiosities that have no power backing them and it's just dead religion. Are you getting what I'm saying? But it says there is a kind of fast that God has chosen. Is this not the kind of fast that I have chosen? It said to lose the what? To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens and to do what? To let the oppressed, the word let here is to permit them that they will go free and that you break what? To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. So it is in this kind of fast that you lose the bands of wickedness. In your fasting, you activate a law that strengthens your faith, kills unbelief. I truly believe that fasting primarily addresses one major issue, and that's unbelief. It opens you up your organs of interaction with the spirit all of a sudden all the possibilities in god are the possibilities in you there is a relationship between food your body and this realm that's why gluttony is a sin gluttony is not fornication so why why is it a sin lust for food 
The same way a man has lust for a woman, someone has lust, but his own now is not a woman, it's for food. Even if he has eaten, he can hold the bread and lie down and sleep like that. That is gluttony. That's the kind of case that requires deliverance. Fast. Hallelujah. Because, see, excessive food does something to your spirit man. It's like a meter. There is a level to which your eating becomes healthy. It keeps your body. Afterwards, it's like the law of diminishing returns. It's like, it's like you are inverting your spirit. Are you seeing that now? Because you see, your, your spiritual growth is inversely proportional to your flesh. Two of them cannot grow at the same time. Huh? So, when one is growing, the other one must bow. And part of that is achieved in fasting. When you fast and you pray and you declare the word with understanding and spiritual intelligence, you edify yourself, you activate certain things. To lose the bands, that means wickedness has a rope. Hello? It has a rope tying down families. Many of us are, are victims of the bands of wickedness. Like the hands of Samson. A great warrior but tied down. And nothing could be done about it. He said to undo what? Heavy burdens. A luggage that you inherited. You, they gave birth to you in the middle of a spiritual discussion that has nothing to do with you. And like Simon of Cyrene, you just received a luggage on your head you cannot explain. It says, to let the oppressed go free. Listen, there are, there are different kinds of captivity, but there are certain people, the Bible calls them lawful captives. Captives who are in captivity legally. It says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. I don't know if you need peace in your life, but it's not just going to come by crossing your legs. You must engage spiritual keys. It says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom, and whatsoever you bind, whatsoever you cast keys of access verse 8 let's read together then shall what so fasting is a mystery that accelerates revelation he said then shall your light break forth there is something God has been trying to reveal to you. There is a spiritual understanding that steps up your stand in the spirit. But it's been limited. The weight of food and the weight of, of laziness. This inertia that comes with this body. And when you fast, you ease yourself. The Bible says your light breaks forth as the morning. And your health shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. And then the glory of the Lord shall be your what? Reward. It shall be your reward. You will see greater glory upon your life. Greater glory. Physically, in ministry, in life. You begin, that's, see, that's why some people go from strength to strength. When you think they have exhausted everything, they come up with a new dimension. Let me show you one last mystery. What's the time now? Isaiah 40. Let's just look at that finally. We hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land All we want Is you 
verse 28 please let's hurry up isaiah 40 from verse 28 i want to teach you a very powerful principle for those of you who have not listened to the teaching secrets of sustained glory please get it there's nothing as painful as looking at a man and say he once was powerful he once was anointed this guy used to have a flourishing ministry god was alive in his midst now it should not be may you never have the testimony of Ichabod in your life that the glory has departed no has thou not known when God begins to probe a man like this then he wants to reveal something he has not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth he does what number one he does not have this characteristic in himself that means he does not have the ability to faint. There is a mystery encapsulated in his person that cannot permit this deficiency. He says, neither is he weary. There's nothing called tiredness. Because it is hope deferred that makes the heart weary. His word is yea and amen. There is no postponing, so he does not know weariness. He says, and there is no searching of his understanding so he gives us certain things number one mankind can faint the word faint is to be fatigued to be tired we can be weary when what you hope for does not come when the marriage does not come as when you want it are you hearing me when the admission or the graduation, it is natural, hear me, it is not a spiritual deficiency as it were. It's part of the predicament that comes with wearing this body. But there is a technology in the spirit and this is what I want to teach you. It says, he giveth what? That means there is a supply in the spirit that can bring power to you when you faint. And to those who have no might, he can increase like a meter he can increase strength hallelujah next verse even what i hope you know the bible says the glory of the young people is their strength so when the strong ones grow weary it's a sign that we are limited the youth shall faint that means in your christian experience listen to me no matter how anointed you are, no matter how blessed you are, a time can come in your life on the strength of the physical happenings in your life. This possibility can be true of you, that you can faint. Hallelujah. You trusted God for a great CGPA. You saw five points in your dream. When you went to check it, you saw 1.7. Say, Lord, which, what is this again? I've already packaged my thanksgiving offering. I thought it was five points. What is, who is confusing me here? And then, you may be a man of God, but at this time, it will touch you. Are you hearing me? When you hear that your loved one that you have been praying for finally died, the Bible says, even the youth shall faint. And be wary, and young men shall utterly fall. That's why you hear certain people just sit down and you hear them talk and you're like sister are you not born again say see if god doesn't help me well lie whoever comes i don't care who i will shall marry and we'll flog it out when we get married it's not like the person is not a christian this is what is happening are you getting my point don't criticize people when you see them fainting and jesus wept he wept because he took this body and it grieved him Jesus was hungry and he was staggering and when he came to a fig tree, he wanted to plug it and there was no food and he was angry. He cursed the fig tree because when you wear this body, you can faint. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Physical fatigue, emotional fatigue when your hope is postponed. You are trusting God for the job and someone said, um, you will hear from me. Maybe in two weeks time. And you've waited for nine years. No job. Everybody keeps seeing you and say, ah, you should be a, a director now, Abby. And you're even embarrassed. Yes, I'm a director by faith. Please don't, don't embarrass me here. 
Must you laugh at me? That's the kind of testimony that some of us have. But let me tell you something. This is the technology. Hi-ya. When you get to this state in the spirit, when it looks like you are about to go down, it says, but they, that means not everybody is interested, but they that wait upon my Lord. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. If you're a man of God here, let me teach you a secret. Otherwise, one day you will sit before your congregation and start crying. I don't know how many messages I preach in a week. I travel all the time. I'm on, I'm on the road. And there are all kinds of expectations. Every territory that invites me, they are happy. They listen to the messages. They go and invite people. And there is, you see, the anointing is like, the anointing is, is as if you have holes in your body. Are you getting me? You become a conductor of the anointing and it tells on your body. That's why when you leave your body and you come back, you feel weak. Right? So, virtue, that concept of virtue going out is real. Many people have not felt it because they are not anointed. They feel the same way from the beginning of the service. They didn't bless anybody, nothing left. But when they touched Jesus, he felt something. He said, who touched me? Ah, it created an effect. Because there are times you are standing on stage and you will receive the pain of somebody. For that small moment, you will feel that pain and your body will respond. Where is this one coming from? The Holy Ghost said, no, no, no. This is a word of knowledge. But your body is still going to suffer that predicament. So by the time the service is done, a lot has left you. You've preached all of the messages and then another message is coming and the people say, man of God, we saw in a vision you were doing great things and you're saying, oh God. One day, you will just fall down and just die because you will preach every message you will now check and say now which one faith they had it last year uh, <laughs> see, those who are pastors are laughing because they know what happens every saturday saturdays are the most stressful days for men of god and uh, uh, they are meeting this because they are there sweating they are wondering you go to someone.com nothing the heavens are closed you go to all kinds of things you try to listen to a man of God's message. You remember that, ah, you shared that in already and you are, you are now wondering and say, oh Lord. Don't let that become part of your life. There is a technology. They that wait. It's a system. It's a mystery. It is a day, day that shout and do stupid things around the presence of God. They that, what do you understand? A waiter, huh? when you go to a very correct restaurant, what a waiter does is that he just stands waiting for your order. Right? They that come into his presence and say, Lord, if you don't help me, there is no help. And phone calls are ringing, man of God, who are calling to remind you that God is going to use you. You keep those things and say, Lord, this is why I'm here. I'm here because of these phone calls. There's so much demand upon me. If you don't increase my capacity and help me. You know that song? Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up. The first thing that happens to those who wait upon the Lord is that they shall renew. It's like the charging of a battery. All of a sudden in his presence, God begins to, he fires one revelation that becomes your three-month sermon. One revelation. Hi! I'm, I, it is my testimony 
in his presence all of a sudden you think every message you've exhausted everything and then god gives you an encounter and you start writing and you are sometimes i i wish i can just organize koinonia every day to just unlock that which is in my spirit so your strength let's try that our song again we will run and not be weary i don't know all the stanzas Da, 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 whatever it is, and his joy will be your strength. I will come into his presence. Many of you didn't go to Bible school. We will wait upon the Lord in his presence. His fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait. Some of you, when they were teaching that song in Sunday school, you were running and scratching people's car and, and stealing money and buying ice cream. When your colleagues were receiving, you were there. They drop you. Immediately they leave. You now run away. <laughs> Hallelujah. So number one, they shall renew their strength. Physical strength. Spiritual strength. When you see a man five years in ministry, looking as if he has been in ministry for 50 years. Uh, well, you see, where everything is. I just write, whether he's there, I can't even remember. And it's, What? laziness, inertia. It says they shall renew their strength. Number two, they shall mount up. Mm. Many of us, I don't want to go into the story of the eagle, but you know that there are times that the eagle needs to defeather itself, shed off the old for the new because you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. You cannot tie a new material with an old one. Their strength is not the same. Hallelujah. And so what happens is that in that place of retreat is the shedding off of that level. There is something that leaves you. The weaknesses. God wants to increase the ministry. He needs to increase your faith. He needs to increase your trust. He needs to increase integrity. Many things happen in that secret place. And then you will mount up. All of a sudden, you come up on stage. And whoa, there is a brand new you. When someone is listening to the message and is busy hitting his head, then he hears another dimension. This is an unending mystery. They shall run. Like Elijah, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run. Don't worry about me. There is a technology in the spirit that accelerates my life. Don't worry. You see, because when you are staying back in the secret place, it looks like you're a fool. Sometimes you will need to refuse a, a ministration that can honor you greatly. Is it not? You are about to go for a ministration where you know that the honorarium will make you happy. And God says, stay back. There's no true happiness outside of my presence. Stay back and say, Lord, the last time somebody smiled and wanted to give me a car, God said, remain there. But when you remain there, you will run. See, I'm teaching you a powerful secret. That's why when you look, you'll be wondering, is there anything to ENI there? Is there anything to Koinonia? Hold on. When we wait, we will run. Is it not a mystery in the spirit? When you want to run, wait. He said, when you wait, then truly you will run. Hurry, hurry in life. I want to hurry to do ministry. I want to hurry to be man of God. The Bible says, wait. That's how you run. When you wait, then you will run. Jesus Christ was waiting and praying and interacting with the Father. They took the boat and they started going. Six hours they were ahead of him but they were not making any progress. That's how many people are doing ministry. They are doing ministry as if they call themselves. No proof, no sign, no witness. God doesn't confirm anything. They struggle to confirm everything. I oh, know, come on. 
There must be a supernatural dimension to your life. There must be a dimension men cannot explain. That's the proof that you are not alone. If you can explain everything about your ministry, you are doing it alone. There must be a supernatural dimension. They shall run and not be. So all of a sudden, Jesus Christ stands up and starts walking on the water. This is Jesus walking on the water. Strength came upon him. And the disciples, he was about passing them. He said, Master, eh? Master, you can't pass us like this. You are seeing what we are going through. Jesus looked at them. They thought he was a ghost. And Peter said, I like this, your technology. So there is something like this and you left us struggling with the boat when we can walk. Brothers and sisters, drop moving in the boat and wait so that you can receive the feet to run. Are you getting me? Many of us are so slow in our lives. We are trying to hurry up and we are leaving the presence of God. And we believe that by leaving the presence of God, you will hurry up in life. You are joking. That's why a man can start a ministry. After 12 years, the man is alone as if God didn't send him. And they say, anybody you see moving like that, forget it. Uh, something must have been done. Is that true? Learn this. If you don't learn anything, if you want to run in the spirit, wait. I want to hurry up and marry. Say, let's walk around. Is it not when they see us? Wait. Ah, you, you think we you think we don't know what you people discuss? Look, let me tell you, it's good to let people see you, huh? But where was Ruth when God was fixing her destiny? Naomi was busy talking to her. She was waiting. When you find yourself running without a track record of waiting, one gentleman sent me a text and he said, man of God, I feel the call. How do I launch out? I replied to him, I said, forget about launching out. Settle down. You see, that's the language. Launch out. In other words, how do I take this thing? The fire that is burning my spirit, nobody knows. The fire of God, if not understood, you can misinterpret that fire to mean that it's a sign to run, whereas it's a sign to refine you. And not be weary. He said, and they shall walk. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah 43, that when you are walking, it means there's fire around you. When you walk through the fire. So when you are walking through what is killing others, you are standing tall. And people are saying, what technology is uh -uh. I waited until the fourth man arrived. So I'm not alone. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Come live in me all my life. Take over. Come breathe in me and I will rise on points very quickly two prayer points hallelujah um, there's a family that that got to contact me I don't know if they are here that they, is it a sick person or a, a mad person or someone like that are they around this protocol find out if they are around then we'll just minister fast if they are not around hallelujah praise the Lord Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer. It says, I will show you. I will not just tell you. I will show you. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 says, I will stand upon my watch. I will set myself upon the tower to see what the Lord will say. You're going to say, Oh God. Let the revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom. I'm tired of ignorance. I'm tired of living my life anyhow. 
open up the scrolls of the spirit and grant me access to revelation lift your voice and pray inside and outside we are praying now shake take ba 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 we are praying now leke te porakata balada bas mande ke prince ke la boko shoto lo ba 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 shekata balako soto balada bas it has been given unto you jesus christ paid the price already it has been given unto you to know the mysteries the spiritual codes that govern dominion pray for the sake of your family for the sake of many that you have been anointed to save there are destinies tied to your life don't let them die pray there is a mystery that you will know that will stop these spells these yokes of darkness from your life open our eyes oh God open our eyes pray grant me light I hate fear. I cause fear. Reveal something to me that takes fear out of my life. Reveal something to me that takes insecurity out of my life. Reveal something to me that stops competition in my life. Let me stand on a solid rock. Koinonia pray. Zeketa ba 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 ba. Rekata pratekate. Zegete pondo koto lobodos. Zegeta prata kate lekete bos. Sopros kete balaba. Open our eyes to the mysteries of the kingdom. Open our eyes to the operations of spiritual laws. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you, you will answer. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call This is my confidence, Lord This is my confidence That I have in you Whenever I call you You will handsome me This is the confidence minute i like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke porosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it here. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Make us. 
Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Togi, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. Please, ushers, position yourself inside and outside. Because there will be a rain in this place. Hallelujah. Listen. You will be set free. Where did you come from? Please, technical, can you help us? Where did you come from? Bauchi, Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste we are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we will end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly. Appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers, coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please, come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Rakata baladabash. Line up, ushers, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait by by to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check. If you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition, 
Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe, sometimes is literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me, because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. You, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitalist, Minister Jakes, Bishop. Let's begin to as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You are a devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus made whole right now be made whole oh God is not done with you God is not done with you be healed in the name of Jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set 
Set free right now from every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One, two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. In power, in power, in power, at the back, outside, at the back, in power, in power, the fire of the Holy Ghost, outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost, outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Break it in. The coat of the Outside. God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose, I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now, that oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same room. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible. The ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. 
I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at. He's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? And that I went to the toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found my 
myself sitting on the ground. You found yourself I, sitting on the ground. Not that I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So and okay, come. You are her daughter. Let let her talk. I was taken to a hospital that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I know. I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house. It's I time move, for you I to move, go. I go, move. go, go, go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So, I move my leg. So, I... Okay, what, what, is, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with right the now? Of the womb. Cancer of the womb. We are bleeding. Then, your uh, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go i command you to go you are of the spirit of darkness i challenge you try lifting it up lift both of your hands up try it just try lifting your hands up can you try lifting it up in the name of jesus you feel pains you feel pains where your shoulder By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. You cough all the time. You cough out blood. Please hurry up. You cough out blood. Literally. Who is the person? Inside. Are they hearing me outside? Quickly. If you identify that person, let the person come. You cough out blood. Literally. Come out. Please clear the way for them. at oppression this is what i'm seeing come on now get out of her out of her now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus out of her now out of her thou devil of darkness i curse you by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus not only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 I stretch my hand by the power of the spirit. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Shut up, shut up, shut up. 
The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. <laughs> Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. 
things are not going right people speak all kinds of grammar and satan is advancing mama please come jang is going to speak to you i sense please mama you're free take her outside i see her coughing whatever please take her outside for god's sake so we don't litter this place take her outside i don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took take her outside you're still not out go out go out go out now out go out go out in the name of jesus go out of her go out of her Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata da kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go. I prophesy to you today after today your life will begin to move as if satan does not exist Amen. are you listening to me every oppression those outside hear me every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go. Bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Lift up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of glory will come in. In Jesus' name. You're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it We have the Son. 
So we have time. Lay your hands on our stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa. Interpreter. Selena. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See. Tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama, Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. 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 This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire right now. My father locates those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
fire upon you fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of you are not done out 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 until he's completely free out little girl be free I separate you with this spirit go 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 time up time up this lady is heavily oppressed out of her out devil of darkness you came for koinonia you're welcome out of her in the name of jesus stand up pick him up fire on you right now it's time it's time it's time you must go go bring him you must go this lady has been so tight now listen i need to explain something to you please follow me it's not the people listen it doesn't mean they are possessed with demons are you listening to me so get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around there are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down when he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Pray. Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness is not cancer, it's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son, has it and Hallelujah. Ma, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. The name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This metal Amen. Melt away. Amen. move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Janfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this road. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even why you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? 
Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families. The time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatata rata. Reke tele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Se tele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered fire 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 be set free right now in the name of jesus you have a glorious destiny no devil will hold you down in the name of jesus lawful captives be free i release you that devil of temper and anger go go i command you be free the plague of death over your family. Go, 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 go. I come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free time to be free leave her let her go this lady has suffered too long you've held her destiny down go in the name of jesus once again come i stopped praying for you for a reason please take this guy up this gentleman look at me Cummings, do you know that your life, listen, listen, I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain and I didn't know what it was, he was lying down there, that was why I walked there and laid my hands upon, you know the curse that was upon Cain, bring them out, God is not done with them yet, you know the curse that was upon Cain, he said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the sun. Has the time. My dear. Come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go round, please. Prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear. You know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. 
but the Lord loves you. And tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't, please, kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says as you say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and seriously go. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Alright? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? My grain, put your hands on your head. Lay it. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. I 
saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song, I will wait for you. Jesus, you're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue. But those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shaba la bara do krasta bara bara. Rata kata prata kada bara bara bash. Paroka prande prade shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mare kata bara 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit, supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I 
I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened in the name of Jesus. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete latu sabadi adaka. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here, who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of april i command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now. In nine months time. You will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members, make sure you are lifting your hands. Oh, every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages. That the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness dear for God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. 
a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk to it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. Rekotosata. Marekete. Retoria. Mabratati. Ekrekete. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, Three, my God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Outside, take it, take it, take it. In the name of Jesus, take it, take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire 
Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Rabata Shalabakuria. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody, inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right with the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven and say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus, I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today. Forward ever. Backward never. The things I used to do. I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord. Of my life. Father. Father commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine 
And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus, my brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus, appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Jakes. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jakes will be following you up. We'll have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please. The very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. All right, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name.
You're free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. Amen. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details and we'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO, Real Eagles Prince, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO, Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters, and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering, but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, so oh God. As we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields, and we supply welfare to many people, my God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the King. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leading you the, em the envelopes, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation, 
Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28th February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our school of ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.